Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and we're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Coal Canyon Falls by Matrix Retoasted. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is another submission sent in by one of our Discord builders, and he says, Hi Channel 5 Gaming, I just discovered your channel and I'm loving what you do. Uh, I think this is an old email, we're finally getting to this submission now. It says, get some inspiration and shown some parks and coasters for future projects. Please consider spotlighting. Is this a word? Yes it is my friend. Uh, my creation below, keep up the good work. Cheers Patrick, hi Channel 5 Gaming. I just, oh, and then he copy pasted that, interesting. All right, so that's it. Quick look at the Steam Workshop everybody, Cole can. Canyon Falls by Matrix Retoastet. I don't know how to say that. Retrostet? Retoastet? <laughs> retoast it anyways enough of that come rate it favorite it subscribe to it he's also on youtube and reddit links will be down in the description for those and come check him out let's get him some more stars everybody all right so it's another western coaster let's take a look at it it's a park only now let's find out right away how many pieces it is three thousand eight hundred mm, you might be able to get it into a blueprint however the terrain is uh, with the new blueprint pieces, you could technically get it as a blueprint, but you won't be able to get this nice terrain work in. Oh wait, these ones are rocks. What about this one? No, that's just a uh, terrain. I'm curious to know what it would look like if you, well, I guess we could test it. It would look like that, and that's a bit of a problem. And you only have about 200 pieces left to close that off. So in terms of the new blueprint design, I don't think you're going to be able to squeeze it in. You could upload it and people, you know, you could add in a note saying just close off the backside with terrain. And uh, I, th I think it's still valid um, and it, people could get a little bit crafty on their own with it. However, making some of this stuff, trying to recreate some of this stuff might be a little bit tricky. So I don't know how I feel about it. Nonetheless, it looks pretty gorgeous. Uh, it's just unfortunate that there's no park or it's not placeable so uh, we get to experience it in all its glory for this video so that should hopefully be enough to um, at least get your creation seen uh, these kinds of park sandbox creations that are just coasters only with no parks they tend to get a little bit less love on the workshop guys so my recommendation for you guys is if you do a coaster like this, like now that we have 4,000 blueprints, you're going to be able to build your terrain with rocks and get it into a placeable coaster format. And uh, you'll get a lot more downloads. So definitely when you're building your coasters, think about those things. Like, am I going to build a park around this? Is this coaster a centerpiece for my park? And if you're just going to build it like this and then like upload that, it's still a good experience. It can be a good spotlight. It could be a fun ride. However, it's not going to blow up in terms of downloads unless it's a big park or dedicated coaster in a park or some really crazy long epic three, four minute experience. Um, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Just giving you guys something to think about when you are building your coasters, park coasters, and that sort of thing. And I think the 4K blueprint is going to really allow us to think about those things a little bit longer before we get into it. So let's just uh, see what he's built here for us and try and soak it all up. Coal Canyon Falls, nice little boarding station sign going up. Nice queue with the custom fences going all the way up. Entrance another sign there's offices down below nice pretty little western boarding station some good props in here a little tnt beside a candle <laughs> and uh this is the exit and i like your little supports for the mine shaft areas i wonder if you've done that more for some of the other caves yes you have so i love it when people do that Make it look like the train is being supported and make it believable. It's a pretty interesting brake station with the custom supports. I like it. Little campgrounds and stuff happening down there. Really cool building. I love how it's intertwining through this storage facility. That is really nice. Beautiful little waterfall. I love the mixture of the dis whether they did the just the brown rocks and the red rocks. I think that works really nicely. Um, try something can uh, the escape button opens up the menu nonetheless it still saves me an extra step 
This is a pretty nice little area here. I love this little bridge you've made. Yeah, this is a very pretty western coaster. And I really like the use of making this uh, watchtower... Have the coaster going through this watchtower. I think you have a lot of really good elements here. And I would love to see you take a stab at making something like this placeable. Or much larger and grand scale in a, in a two, three minute duration. I think there's a lot of elements here that are done beautifully. And... Uh, it has a lot of potential to go bigger and to be placeable. So I'd say play around with it some more and try and get into a placeable coaster blueprint when we get to 4K. Because uh, I do love all the elements and this is a very friendly, inviting western coaster. And um, it's not too often I see a western coaster that just blows my mind. Uh, however, I do really like this one. So, good job. Alright, well, let's take a look at it at nighttime, and then we'll take a look at the stats and get on this coaster. Ooh. Very warm and inviting. This is interesting. Nice orange glow over here. Oh, it's very well lit for a western coaster. Just enough little lamp lights here and there. Nice and subtle. It's gorgeous. Well done. All right, let's ride it at daytime first, um, and then we'll do a nighttime run. I feel like uh, a lot. I know a lot of us, a lot of people, including myself, like to ride these mine trains at the back of the coaster, but I also want to see the track itself. So we'll we'll run the track, and then we'll run the back of the train. The reason you can't sit in the front here is because this thing gets in the way. So so it looks like this one's running us at 60 FPS. Very nice. Should be a very smooth run and a smooth video. Pretty excited. All right, here we go. One leaving the station right now. We're going to ride the mine at the back of the train and uh, for night time.
So I gave a little bit of my feedback at the beginning and I, I kind of want to iterate on that again as the way I feel like if you're going to do one of these, hey, uh, I'm a dedicated park coaster, I feel like you could take advantage of the train even further and make the coaster even a little bit crazier. I feel like you could have done the same size coaster within a blueprint and even more so now that we have 4K. So it's it's quite, it's kind of not, it's not here or there. It's somewhere stuck in between in the void of uh, it should be a placeable blueprint coaster, yet it's not quite the epic terrain style coaster that it could be if it were a park dedicated coaster. So what I mean by that is you could have taken advantage of it going down into the depths of the earth into an actual mining uh, area. So it could have at one point dropped so deep into the ground and you're traveling through these really dark mine shafts and there's little lanterns and um, you know uh, mine trains and tracks and gold and little things and then you come back up into the the upper area and you know you could have even taken it out a little bit further and done the made the coaster a little bit longer and a little bit faster and a little bit more adventurous so my suggestion is uh at least for the 4k uh since we're almost at 4k with this try to get it so it's uh more compact and placeable if this is the goal you're going for and then if your goal is to make a, a adventurous um park only coaster then i would make it a little bit more epic a little bit more extreme and take advantage of that terrain just a little bit more like I said it's not quite here and it's not quite there it's stuck somewhere in between and I feel like it could almost be a blueprint and it could almost be a park coaster so you got to find that fine line of what it is you're wanting to do with it um, and then really hit that home and I feel like it's this one here it uh, in terms of 4k it's gonna fit that placeable coaster blueprint a little bit better it just needs to be a little bit more thought out in terms of getting rid of the terrain so that it can be placeable and um, compact it a little bit more more so you can do that and if you want it to be a park only dedicated coaster I feel like you have a lot more work to do so for me it, it should almost be compact a little bit more and thought out a little bit better in order to get that part countdown so that you can get it into the 4k blueprints this April so that's my feedback for you other than that I thought the theming was great I thought the experience was pretty good um, great little Western coaster I love how it goes through all the buildings and all the other stuff that I said so I really enjoyed it I just uh, I feel like you just got to figure out how to get it into a blueprint so there you go everybody that was Cole Canyon Falls by Matrix Retros Re Retoast it links will be down in the description as always and that's going to do it for this episode Soda Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster videos. All right, everybody, hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.